Hello, everybody! Welcome to, yes, a third attempt at episode 15. I am the Nomadic Ark, and we are going to try and hopefully pull off a successful run of episode 15 with including audio commentary. Anyways, I have with me two boys with me today. I have Anixite. Hey, rule of three, everybody. And I have Selegna. Hello. All right, so I figure we may as well go ahead and jump right into this because there's no point, no better time than the future, so let's do it. Now, let's see. I believe, was it, which one was it that I... I believe it's, yes, it's this one. 92, number 6. Here we are. Now, last time we left off, we had defeated the Ice Titan and Hades Cup. Now, we have only a couple of, uh, a couple of secret bosses left. Which, Annex, you haven't seen this one yet, so this is good. No. No, I haven't. All right, uh, let's let's say we jump right in here. Go for it. Oh, we got the goofy shield. That's right. Okay, what the fuck? Say hi to Sephiroth. Oh my god, it actually is Sephiroth. It's like yes. Ah, oh, that's right. He is in this game, isn't he? Yes. Why does he have protagonist eyes? Uh, because in his eyes, he's the protagonist. He always is. He's that. He, he's that. Got that much of an ego. And you can only do this on your own, then? Yep, you're yep. not allowed. Also, he has, uh... Six health bars, but the game can't display more than four. I noticed that earlier. It's just, they stop at, like, the purple, and it's... A bit of a shame, but... Eh. You are playing very badly here. There are two ways to beat Sephiroth. Grind until you can just beat him to death, or cheese the fuck out of him with strike rate. Is that what's kind of being attempted here? Uh, he grinded to like level 86. I mean, I think... I think that's fair, really. It's... It's kind of the Dark Souls approach to it, you know? You can either try to do it really legit, like the super skill, or you can cheese the fuck out of it. And really, at that point, who cares? You know, it's if you can make it, then you can make it. I think this is the most remixed Final Fantasy boss theme. Is it? Well, I suppose no. There's a there's a lot of love for FF7. There is, yeah. I mean, it's there. It's not. There's, oh, by the way, we're supposed exactly to get uh, we're supposed to get remake news next month. Ooh, that might be good. And that spell he's about to cast was about to drop me to one HP and zero MP. Ooh, until I interrupted that's, it. That's nasty. Oh, he's in heartless it's a movie, angel. It's actually a movie kept from it when you find him in Final Fantasy VII. He can do that in Final Fantasy VII during the final boss fight, during the safer Sephiroth boss fight. And as you get him lower in health, he will actually just mumble it. Oh. Yeah, so you have to actually pay him more attention. You have to look for the animation cue. Also, by the way, the voice actor for this is a Backstreet Boy. It's Lance Bass. Yes. Sephiroth is Lance Bass. 
He is a fucking Backstreet Boy. Well, they were from the Backstreet in Midgard, so I guess it's Oh, Meteor Time. Oh no, this no, is Octoslash. Octoslash. Well, I don't know. It's probably Omni-Slash. How are you supposed to... How? He hit oh. you. Aha, are you supposed to? Are you supposed to just tank that? No, you're not. You're supposed to interrupt it. Oh. I just, oh no, I no, he's it referring once to. It interrupts it. I, I kept referring to Octoslash. I just, I kept looking and I didn't see any any time you could have interrupted God. What Octoslash? No, Sephiroth in general. I mean. I can see how the Ice Titan is real easy compared to this. Oh yeah. The Ice Titan is the easiest super boss. Yeah, Ice Titan is simply block the game. You can dodge roll this. Good. But I like your style. Like, girl, I'd I'm the two base master. Tank. Did you knock him out of his meteor health, or is that only in the last health bar? No, the last health bar. Oh, I was gonna say. Although, you know, in the end, I think yeah. Sephiroth just can't win because he's got a katana, not a keyblade. Well, it's not katana. It's, I don't remember what it is. It's the Masamune. It's a katana. Yep, here comes the meteor. It is literally six and a half feet long. Canonically, this is in the set Fundamental 7 Ultimania. He just has a really large katana. That was kind of hilarious at your level, I'm not gonna lie. I very much appreciated it. What, the meteor just uh, sitting there and taking it? <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. I think that's Shadow Flare he's using there. Actually, I think so. I think you're right. This is when he starts mumbling, uh, Heartless Angel, by the way. If I give him a chance. Honestly, I like the, uh, Crisis Core Sephiroth voice actor a lot more. I kind of want, I really want to see how it goes in the remake, like especially in the last two episodes they're planning. Because real ominous. Uh, <laughs> that oh was my close. god. That, is, that was perfect. Yeah, in Crisis Core, he's played by Ju George Newbern. Who, who is not a terrible voice actor in any stretch of the imagination. It's just, this was the very first time Sephiroth had a voice. So it was, it was, uh, what is the word? Uh, new in that respect and groundbreaking in that respect. Who plays him in the remake? Yeah, uh, is it, is it Newbern? I thought they replaced most of the cast. I don't know if they replaced him. Actually, now that, now that I think about it, yeah, I think they did replace him because... It's I mean, Tyler Hoechlin. Yeah. He was... Okay, only in KH1 is he voiced by Lance Bass. It changes to George Newbern in all future appearances. Ready for a preview of Final Fantasy VII Remake Annex Site? Oh lord. I love how his shadow flickered in and out of existence there. What is with that dead face? Just the smile. The texture is not good. It's KH1 textures, what do you expect? I think this was done on the Luminous engine. Luminous Engine. 
what else do they do in the engine? I don't remember. 13. Oh. Wait, seriously? This is the FF-13 engine? Yes. Damn. Yeah, so Cloud can fly for some reason. Again, well, so he can... was originally Vincent. Well, so can we, though. It... Yeah, but we have Tink's help. Maybe he does, too. You know, maybe he strong-armed her. And from Kingdom Hearts 3 onwards, they went to Unreal. That makes sense. Well, at this point, there are a few really, really well-known engines, so you... We're not doing Desert Seeker boss? Got him. Almost. Thank you for reminding me. I was wanting to get on with it, but yeah, you reminded me. That's right. Yeah, we still have to do the Desert Seeker boss. Remember, you gotta talk to, uh... Carpet. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, the Luminous Studio engine is a fork of Unreal 3. All so right, that's a lot about the Unreal engine. Jesus. It's. Yeah, I mean, think of Unreal Versus 1. Denial. Remember Unreal Tournament? You literally created just to show it off? Yes. That was the bomb. That was a great, great game. Seriously, Facing Worlds is still my favorite map, only because of the music. Oh, yes. I wish they still did Unreal Tournament. Don't they? No, they haven't done one in a while. Carpet's really excited for some reason. Let's go find out why. Well, the first thing is you shouldn't take anything that makes um, inanimate objects, you know, animate. I stand corrected. There is one coming out in the next couple of years. There's an in game. There's a uh, alpha for Unreal Tournament right now. It's just called Unreal Tournament. Makes sense. Okay, so we are. Um... He had to You're get now pink out. Because he sealed magic right after he used tank. He seals magic immediately upon entering battle, but you have like about a split second to summon. And if you summon tank, you're all set. Well, basically, he's, he has anti-cheese mechanics, except it's a very small window because, well, Kingdom Hearts. Coding issue. I mean, hey, you'll take it. Cool looking boss, even if it doesn't necessarily fit in the theme of anything here. I don't know. His name is Kurt Ziza, named after a Japanese contest winner. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, he's a contest winner, super boss. You cannot kill him in one go, by the way. Now he's only. That should be really hard. I mean, I. I would not be surprised if someone has done it. I like your style. Also, he can only be hurt by magic in this form. And then the shield breaks, and then we go to back to this. If you hit his shield with the keyblade, he drops MP orbs. Also, remarkably the, generous. Uh, the uh, sw the phase swap is a HP threshold. So you cannot kill him in the first two uh, swaps. Okay. I mean, he actually seems... I'm just kind of watching and... He seems difficult in some way, but he doesn't seem completely unreasonable. He's the easiest super boss. But he is fun. It's more like if you're bad, if you're well prepared, you could probably probably do this at a lower level. And if you're oh, not, you can beat him at like level forty. Like you, you if you're a higher level, then you can cheese him. But if not, you're gonna have to actually pay attention. Also, he gets some bad patterns sometimes. Like right now.
Yeah, he got some bad patterns there, which is why it took so long to kill him that time. There we go, and now he's dead. Oh, and he was actually a heartless. How cute. We learned Zantetsuka. Zantetsuka is a, let's see, it's a 30% a chance attack uh, combo ender that, uh, after the, co if, if it lands, if Zantetsuka lands, it'll, uh, immediately destroy the enemy. Only works on normal enemies, though. Yeah, having instant death be something that can affect the boss is not something you can do in most games. Yeah, I'd be kind of broken, honestly. Alright, we've Maybe. just got two more bosses to kill. No, one the final boss, one another secret boss. By the way, I was trying to find information on the next Unreal Tournament. Where did you see that? One second. Like oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say, he's asking. Question. So meanwhile, while the princesses have been waiting here for the end of the world, uh, we've gone off and just kind of fucked around with all the different bosses because, well, why not? You know, darkness can wait for us. Yep, and uh, for this boss, we want this and only this. You're there you about go, to see why. Yeah. No, no. Right, here you go. I'm putting it in general. Actually. Ooh. Oh no, it looks like it's it's a free-to-play experience. No. I mean, it's epic. What did you expect from the creators of fucking Fortnite? Eh. Let's go! Sam? What's that supposed to mean? But no, we've been, we've been a heartless since we stabbed ourselves. Kyrie just gave us a human body. Yeah, that's true. And this is what you do the entire battle. What, strike rate? 
Exactly. Because of the iframe. Has anyone ever done this legit? Yes. It's just super difficult because this game, this boss is as fast as a KH2 boss without all of the uh, abilities to handle that. So, Final Mix exclusive? Yes. Kind of seemed like it. This is hinting towards KH2. Japan loves their uh, sequel bait. Bravely well, Default did it too. definitely say they do, yeah. Not Bravely Default did it too. Specific, uh, and by that we mean specifically Japanese game developers do. They love to sequel bait. Oh god, yeah, just look at Bravely Default. We're still waiting on Bravely Third. I'm sorry, seeing Donald just fly above you made me chuckle for a bit. It was ridiculous. It's like, you're in this lightsaber fight, and meanwhile, you get a duck flapping above your head. Like, it, And given that Sony now owns Star, uh, Disney now owns Star Wars, this is actually thematically appropriate. <laughs> oh, no shit, you're right. So, you know the Chip and Dale movie? It's out now. I'm watching it tonight. I'm going to stream it tonight. Because uh, I'm watching it while I, uh, I'm going to watch it while I eat pizza. Oh, okay. Have fun. Yeah. My friends have seen it. My, I've seen bits and pieces. I don't have Disney Plus. I could share my account with you. We can watch it together. No, there's nothing on Disney Plus I really care to watch. I was not a big fan. I was a big fan of. No, Rescue I mean Rangers just for system. tonight, so we can watch it together. No, no, it's fine. Ah, oh, shit! He's going Super Saiyan. No, he just wanted to do this for he is. <laughs> Speaking of Super it, Saiyan, that's kind of fallen by the wayside, hasn't it? It really has. I mean, now it's all Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego. Pretty much. I mean, it's all now, escalation. I will say before this fight ends that there is a re another reason I'm doing a Strike Raid. I'm avoiding an ability that he has where he can uh, lock out my commands and hold me in the air doing constant damage. Oh yeah, oh. you uh, had that happen to you uh, in the previous attempt. If you try That's to combo rude. him, he'll just lock you in the air. So you can't finish your combo on him. Or you well, get locked into that. that. He holds you into the air, you can't really do anything. You can't do anything until you, uh... Until you break out of the lock. Yeah, your iframes are just so incredibly useful right now. Holy shit, two levels, too? Yeah, the main villain of KH2. They usually do that. I think there's very few times where the super boss isn't the main villain of the next game. Uh, super boss of KH2 is not. He's the main ah, shit. Unfortunately, or one of three. It hints Unfortunately, it. that's a fight I remember. It hints at it in the next game, though. It's true. The only one that doesn't hint at the next game is uh, 3D. I guess the I guess the super super boss of uh, Gage Three does end up the next game, given the world given the world we start in from the trailer we've already seen. 
Yeah, yeah, the, the secret boss lives in the same world as the trailer. All right, now, uh, before we jump in the door there, let's re-put those abilities back on. We got two, we got two AP, so... Uh, where is it? Combo plus. Get that last combo plus on there, there we go. And I think Donald and Goofy are good to go because they have uh, all their abilities they need. Do they have items? Don't really. They don't really need items as much. So much. Oh, okay. Because this, because the final bosses are stupid easy. You can beat the game, just the game itself, at level thirty-five. Even on hard mode. Yeah, even on proud mode, easily. There are level one proud mode runs. Oh right, I just realized you can actually do birth by sleep. Your heart is the mightiest weapon of them all, but you're heartless. No, heartless still have hearts. They steal I, them. I thought it was technically they are them, which is bizarre. Yeah, the heartless are just your heart shrouded in darkness. So basically like a normal person. I, I, Birth by Sleep is my favorite of the games. You can do the PSP one. It's not going to be any different than what I would be playing. Yes, Ooh, it will, wait. because final mi you get the Final Mix version, which has different super bosses. You, you, the final mix, you, can you, can, uh, you can do the Final Mix version on, the em on an emulator. I also own 1.5 and 2.5. This world has been connected. What was that? Soon to be completely eclipsed. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Take a look at this tiny place. To the heart seeking freedom, this island is a prison, surrounded by water. And so this boy sought out to escape from his prison. He sought a way to cross over into other worlds, and he opened his heart to darkness. Riku! Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness. And all so end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true. The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. This far, and still you understand nothing. Every light must fade, every heart return to darkness. Billy Zane is just chewing the goddamn scenery so hard. So basically, the last boss starts off as a beach party. Got it. Also, one of the phases of the last boss is just insulting.
I admit, I'm a little bit confused. He just summons something, which is darkness from himself, but he is, that means that he's not... That guardian there. is explained uh KH3. Oh, God, really? That, that far off? Technically, it's explained in Birth by Sleep, but it's more hinted at than straight up said. I mean, it's a cool visual. It could stand on its own, but it's just confusing. If I'm trying to make sense of it, you know? Yeah. You'll understand what it is once I play Birth by Sleep. I love how you get level ups from the final boss. You can't take the levels with you anywhere, so they're kind of pointless, but they're there. Well, if you wanted to introduce your parents to Donald and Goofy, well, now it's really too late. Rip the plan open. By the way, this next phase is the insulting one. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. <coughs> Take that. Really? Yeah, they <laughs> they let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me just set up a cottage real quick. <laughs> let me just heal the hell up because I can. Hey, you see why in the middle of the boss fight. Like completely to fall. This is stupid. No other, no Final Fantasy game would let you during a boss rush like this at the end of the game just completely heal to fall. This has to be a victory lap. This really has to be. It's like a Dark Souls moment where it's like you are finally go back against the boss that kind of nearly beat you up at the beginning of the game and it makes that much easier. Oh my god. Get down here! This this is a joke, right? It is. I told you this phase was insulting. No shit. There we go, done. And yet you still got a level up from it. <laughs> we run in slow motion like the million dollar man. And now you have to do the same exact fight you just did with only Sora. No, it's still not that hard. Where did the others even go? Oh, they got hit by a barrier, like with Dark Riku. Oh, I missed that one. Out of MP, gonna have to beat the crap out of you in man man now. Yeah, no goofy do uh steroid you up. Come on. Can't touch oh. oh well now apparently you can. What do you hope to accomplish? I like how he asks what I hope to accomplish while well, ignoring you for the most part because you do not sir you, you sir are uh, not that strong. God uh, God, Billy Zane really sells that line. Okay, literally, I, I can see how this would be harder if you were under-leveled or not leveled as much. So how do you get rid of the Guardian? You can't! You just have to go away. And it does after a moment, see? Yeah, there it is. Ansible. Ansible motion and then the guardian will go away. And then you just get hit by it again. Because Ansible's a dick. But don't you know? He just wants you to open your heart to the darkness. Apparently! 
I got one hit on him. Oh god, this stupid bullshit again. He's invulnerable, so there's no point to even invulnerable at the, uh, for this attack, so there's no point to even attempt to get him. You thought your strike raid iframes could help you here? Behold, for I too have attained the power of the iframe. I wanted to do the, the hyper ball, the hyper ball move once. Can it do it? There it is. I too can go fast, like the Sonic. He turns into Sonic the Hedgehog for a moment. <laughs> hmm. Behold the endless abyss. Within it lies the heart of all worlds. Kingdom hearts. Look as hard as you are able. You'll not find even the smallest glimmer of light. From those dark depths are all hearts born. Even yours. <gasps> Sora, I thought you were stronger than that. So, you know about uh, Hans Giger, I think? The guy who designed the uh, original alien design for the movie Aliens? Yep. HR yeah, guy. That's the thing, like, I'm getting that massive aesthetic from all of this. Which is funny, because the aliens were kind of phallic in design, and that was intentional. The no limits anymore, we don't get any more, get to use our limits anymore, because, uh, we're flying. So we have to just do this the manual way. We do get bonus damage from arrow gun. You're also just kind of screaming him. The key gone. Hey, I was just looking at Birth by Sleep stuff, how to unlock the secret ending. If I'm in critical, it doesn't matter. Hero good. Continuing to do damage after the fight is over. Now it's time for a nap. Yeah, he goes to sleep for a while. I love how he's a gigantic cod piece. He needs to pump all that darkness into him. Oh, well, now isn't this a nice little view? Why didn't you just use Thundaga? I honestly think this is faster. Besides, using the attacks means I don't use MP. Use MP up that I can use for arrow go or healing. Okay. See, now, that was darkness. Blue floor. But that was real darkness. Here we go again. More of this crap. Ah, damn it. It's... Tentacle time? Well, 
tentacle uh, I think they're called, uh, I think Selena or someone else found out the name for these. I think they're called artillery. I what? think it was someone else because I don't remember that. Regardless, they're dead now. Yeah. Okay, I literally flew into that. <laughs> yeah, you did. The game did not did not want me to go in. I did not go in at the right angle. Hi, Goofy. Now these are just dark balls, so I'm just gonna get rid of them real quick. There we go. Done. Oh, I see. Gradually rescuing our friends from the darkness. That's cute. Also, it looks like the game intended for you to use the Thundaga spam there. Yeah, because they were incredibly grouped up. And they dropped MP orbs. Small ones, but yes. Well, it did get you another bar. The yawning chasm of the dick ship. Very uh, toothy. Goofy, have fun. You, you do know, extra this, damage too. This, this entire design is honestly really confusing. It's like we haven't seen anything this ominous in the entire game until now. Goofy is dead. Goofy, it's dead. It can't hurt you anymore. Enter the phallus. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnarok! Invisibles are just stupid no matter where you face them. This is why I chose to use Ragnarok. It's dead! It is! But I'm actually gaining MP from doing this. Okay, so yeah, I, I was looking at Birth by Sleep. I'm going to be playing on Critical anyway, so that's fine. I'm not even going to comment on what just happened here. That's too low a shot. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> there's a lot of Freud there. A lot the, of was Nomura on acid when he made this game? The people who wrote, the people who wrote uh, Alice in Wonderland were... Or the guy did it for Lewis Carroll was. <laughs> I mean, it's quite literally a giant acid trip to begin with, so... No, 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 don't kill that first. Kill this first. Why? What happens if we kill that first? Well, nothing. I just want to get the right care of the, everything. I just want to kill everything. If I kill that first, I can't kill those things. That's the boss. Why is it jiggly? That's a good question. Why wouldn't it be jiggly? Well, you know, ones we should ask. Time to wake up, Ansem. Time to get your butt kicked again. Did you call this him Ansem or Ansem? Ansem. I mean, I don't know. I love how he's the only character to have nipples. Look at those no, light bars just melt. Yeah, like I think I think darkness is the wrong team here. I'm I'm so very glad we did not do any kind of darkness drinking game for this LP. I think we'd be dead, and I think our liver thanks us.
Keyblade alone cannot seal the door to darkness. Kingdom Hearts, fill me with the power of darkness. <gasps> Stop staring and keep brushing! Demonetized. Uh, we, uh... <laughs>
basically as soon as that song starts, as soon as Simple Clean starts, it's demonetized. But uh, he can't because he's going after. He still has to go after Riku. Uh... He has to go find Riku. I repeat. Uh... Now we've we... just got credits, and then a sequel bait for children's card games, and a uh, sequel bait for the next actual numbered game. I'm not gonna lie. If you make this video but you replace it with a MIDI version of Simple and Clean that just uses the kazoo, I'd die laughing. If I could find one. <laughs> <laughs> you do not know the go you do not know the lengths I would go to for Hillary, for humor. But I, I I doubt I'd find it. I really doubt I would find it. I you know what? If you can play the kazoo that well and get and pull that off. Oh yeah. That would be hilarious to just say, okay, now we're gonna turn off the games get we're gonna turn off the games uh, version and do this kazoo version. <laughs> I mean they don't say anything important during it either way. It's just a look yeah, No, there's no vo there's no uh, there's no dialogue. Also, Kyrie looking inspirational. Uh... Oh, Selegna! You know what? What's up? There is one. There is one uh, final cutscene that I remember from uh, the original PS2 release of Kingdom Hearts that isn't in this version. Really? Yeah. Which one? Do you remember the cutscene of the girl standing on the beach that we thought was Kyrie? That was originally part of uh, the PS2 releases, uh, Kingdom Hearts, and its version of uh, of uh, uh, of the cage of the uh, cage two trailer that comes at the after the credits. Yeah. Well, uh, that's that's cutscene. That that version of that trailer isn't in this isn't in this game. That's interesting. Yeah, you don't see the scene of who we suspect is Kyrie standing on the beach looking like about uh, four or five years older, or looking about maybe two years older, but with the same clothes she had from uh, this game. Okay. That's a good face. Grubhub, I'm not going to order ice cream through a delivery service. <laughs> that would be awesome. I would pay to see you do that and then it shows up melted. Especially in the <laughs> middle of fucking summer? Give me a hunt. Give me a 75% discount and I will try it. See what happens. I mean, if you do, give it a shot. <laughs> seventy five percent at seventy five percent discount. I would do it. I would do it just to see, just to see. I what have happens. permanent Grubhub Plus, anyways. So it's not seventy five percent discount. Yeah, no, I just have permanent Grubhub Plus. Mostly because I have Amazon Student Prime. Okay, so I don't know. What else you've got left for KH1, but I'm thinking there so I'm going back through everything I remembered about this from watching it, which was a lot less than I originally thought. And it's saying I never played this. I tried once on someone's PS2 and completely failed. Um it's weird. Like, I would not like disagree. It, it is a very the the plot goes in directions that are that are definitely not usual. Yeah. Like yep. it's I don't know how to say it. It's just it, it it's got like it takes all the anime boxes without having continuous story. It's just like 
hey, this is cool stuff to appeal to people. And maybe that's just because now we've got a lot more consistent plot in games. It like this drastically improved since writing has become a lot more important. But I look at all of this, it's weird. It's really weird. On the other hand, you've got the standard, like, Disney, hey, good versus bad. You're sucked into a world. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is Kingdom Hearts basically an isekai? Yes. That's the, uh, my running theory. Because the idea is... This is an, this is a giant. This entire series is a giant coma dream for Sora. Oh God! Because damn if it. you remember, at the very beginning cutscene, after the dive into the heart, Riku chucks a log at Sora. We never see him catch it. <laughs> so the I, my theory is that the entire thing is the entire series is a coma dream because the log smacked him so hard into the head in the head that he is in a coma. And it's from that day on that Riku was never allowed to go on a summer vacation with the other kids. Sora's, Sora's mom is like, I am... Sora's mom walks up to Riku's mom, I'm suing your ass! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> My son is in a coma. has been for 15 years. I'm a go walk Because on, your Jesus son Gwen. threw a log at him. <laughs> I mean, in that case, we can basically say that Sora is probably a real Disney freak if he's got all this in his mind. The entire, yeah, the entire, uh, the entire thing is uh, a coma dream because of, uh, and a lot of it, uh, a lot of the char Disney characters are because Sora is watches a lot of Disney Channel. And wakes up, and there was a big giant mouse, and there was a duck wielding a staff. And there was, like, a dog on two legs. And then there was this one guy with a, with a one, with a one black angel wing. And, like, he kept beating me up. Okay, he also plays Final Fantasy. Sora, Sora lives in the real world. Okay, so, and there it is! Yufei! And excited, did you see that? Yufei? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, this, uh... This is the, the what is this, Selena? What is this? The third time this game has been made. The fourth time. Uh, fourth time. And they 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 still missed they still missed a spelling error. Yeah, Y U F E I E. It's Typo. Y U. Her name is spelled Y U F F I E. That was Y U F E I E. Which is like, you fay? I'm trying to remember, how is it written in. Oh, Yufi. Yeah, that was, that's pretty straightforward in Japanese. Now, there is, there is two cutscenes after the credits, so that's what we're waiting on. Man, I should have saved dessert. Eh, but I had it for dinner, so all is good. I'm ordering pizza as soon as we're done here, and I'm going to watch the Risky Rangers movie. I'm going to be making pork loin chops. Ooh, nice. Uh, I fried up some I chicken for lunch. <sighs> I haven't had pizza in over four weeks. And I can't have I pizza. Do. And the only reason that is is because I have uh, I didn't have anywhere to store my leftovers between when I was getting ready to get out of my current my old place and into this new place, so I wasn't able to have anything that was that ended up would end up being leftovers. Oh, okay. I can't have pizza because I have uh, uh, GERD, an acid reflux disorder. Oh, that's annoying. I can have spaghetti with small amounts of tomato sauce. I can't have garlic anymore. No! I'm Italian! I did not know this. 
I'm a quarter Italian, a quarter German, a quarter Irish, and a quarter Roma. Gypsy? Do not use that word. I'm sorry, but that's the but that's what you were getting at, right? Yes. God, look at those trees. <laughs> <laughs> I would say they're only half a they're only half again as good better than uh Super Mario World. There are probably as many pixels as are in Super Mario World. Also, why did they suddenly change outfits? We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. Did that they? is a wonderful question. I oh my god, they did. Never explained. This is their classic outfit. Yeah, this is the this is literally their classic tune outfits. They lost their powers. No, they. It, didn't really. it, they do not currently have access to the gummy ship, so they got thrown into the realms in between and ended up here. Here. And Pluto's here for some reason. That is never explained, by the way. Oh wait, yes, it is in Cage too. But he's a dog. Like, you know, Arc. dogs and puppies will get in this everywhere. This is explained in Cage too. I just realized that. Guys, unfortunately, I'm... we have a game between the uh, game. Before Two games the between, between that. Wait, are did we? Wait, I forgot. Are we doing three five eight over for uh, three five eight before two? It happens before the prologue of two. Okay, I forgot. I forgot we discussed that. So that means it's two games. Well, that's that's a one game. I get to take an entire break from editing. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be doing all the grinding off in three five eight over two off off record off camera. By the way. Oh, but I, I would hope so. Because so, there is a lot of grinding. They're they're gonna keep walking that road, and they don't Forever. get hungry. You would Pluto. It's <laughs> 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 why we never. It's why the the Pluto we see in Cage Two is the original Pluto. I was gonna say, in the worst case, you know, there's Duck and Dog, and here is the Final Mix exclusive. Cutscene for yep. being the game on critical or 100%ing it. Also known as Deep Dive. We'll be getting to know this character right here on this in the screen right now very well uh, in KH2. And 358 over 2. Yeah. Alright. Hi, puppy. And and said character also has a has a uh, what what is the trope term for it? Uh, like a it's a, it's something badass moment. Oh, I don't know, but um, crouching tiger, hidden badass. No, no, no. It's uh, it's like supreme badass moment or something. It, it's a trope where the where where a hero just shows up out of nowhere and just like it just starts owning oh i get what you mean well i think oh god i just realized i know who this is his name is blonde haired kid at least that's what we knew him as when this cutscene first came out everyone it took everyone about two about no more than two months to figure out who the other character in the cutscene was we didn't learn who the who the blonde haired kid was until kh2 came out but the silver-haired kid was fairly obvious. There's only one person with silver hair in the entire series, so... Yeah. Out of the good guys. No, Ansem has white hair. I'm talking about the, uh, old man. That's gray, not silver. Uh, it's pretty similar. Similar color. Congrats on doing 100%. Let us tease you with something. If you play on uh, Proud Mode, you get it no matter what. It is super annoying if you're not playing on Critical Mode in Birth by Sleep to unlock the secret ending. Because you have to literally 100% of the game no matter what. Granted, we did pretty much that anyways. The only thing we did do was the uh, garbage gummy ship... Uh... 
There is one thing I will not be doing in Birth by Sleep. Mirage Arena? Stickers. Those are so easy to get, though. Because I have no idea where any of them are. <laughs> I'll give you a guide. Also, I have to do Mirage Arena, at least on one character. Well, okay, yeah, I suppose you do. Because I need the, I need the report. Also, Ark? Yes? I found... I may have found a MIDI file for Simple and Clean. Kazoo? No, but yeah. I'm pretty sure you could make it that. <laughs> but, yes, thank you for watching uh, the entirety of Kingdom Hearts. L Let's play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix HD on the PC. We will, Coming up next is episode one of Children's Card Games, also known as Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories or Kingdom Hearts Re-Chain of Memories, depending yeah. on the console you played it on. And uh, that is what's coming up next. So we will see you. Pro Let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a week, a week hiatus just to decompress. And we will be back the following week with episode one of Children's Card Games. So thank you, and we will see you then. And remember, kids, don't give in to the darkness. Ha, 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 ha.